In this overview, we are going to discuss the completely redesigned Capture app in DHIS2. This updates the previous Event Capture app with an enhanced interface and additional functionality. We can see that this app has a much different look and feel when compared to the Event Capture app that was used in earlier versions of DHIS2. Let's review everything that has changed. From the start, we can see that all of the items from the previous app are now located in a different location and are using a more modern design interface based on more current design standards. Let's start with the organization unit selection. This is still located on the left-hand side of the screen. However, we will see it hovers over the registered events at the top of the screen. The screen is no longer divided on the left-hand side by the organization unit selector. When an organization unit is selected, the tree collapses in order to allow this information to be displayed in a more user-friendly fashion compared to the previous app. This is quite different than selecting organization units in Event Capture previously, as the organization unit selection remained open by default unless closed by the user. To the right of the organization unit selection is the program selection. When we go to select a program, we can see the list now supports adding in colored icons to be associated with the program. These icons and colors are also translated over to the Android app. This functionality was not present in previous versions of the app. After selecting the program, the registered events appear. Of course, if there are no registered events, then nothing will appear at this stage. We can see how the organization unit and program selection are divided from the registered events section, with both of these items persisting at the top of the screen. This is quite different from the previous interface, which was essentially divided into three parts, unless collapsed by the user. This new interface leaves more room to display the registered events in the main part of the screen you are reviewing as a result of the design changes that have been implemented. Interacting with the registered events list has also changed slightly when compared to the previous Event Capture app. The filters for showing events are now located together on the top of the registered events list. We can also add in additional filters by selecting the More Filters button even if the column is not present in the current registered events list. For example, I can add in gender as a filter, even though gender is not currently a column on the registered events list. We can also add in more columns to the registered events list from the program just like before. Now we can use the gear icon in order to add columns. From here, we can decide which columns we want to add to the registered events list. Another added feature here is the ability to sort how the columns appear on the page by dragging and dropping them within this new interface, regardless of the order they appear within the program itself. This gives us some additional flexibility on how the registered events list is displayed compared to the previous Event Capture app where this was not possible. We can see that after I click on Save, it will add these two additional columns in the order that I have specified to the registered events list. The download button has also been moved and is located after the column management button. This download button allows us to download a summary of the events that we're currently looking at on the registered events page. At the bottom of the page, you will now find the row and page navigation. Here you can find how many rows appear on the registered events list, as well as navigate between the registered events list pages. We'll end here for the initial part of this overview. We've gone over the new interface as well as a number of the design changes that have been implemented in the new Capture app. In the second part of this overview, we will register a new event so you can review how the new data entry interface appears within the Capture application.